Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap, ordained by Jesus, equipped by Jesus, taught by Jesus, sent by Jesus to preach the gospel. If you're ordained by a man, you're not ordained to preach no gospel. If you're sent by a man, you ain't sent. If you're taught by a man, you're not sent by God. God nor Jesus Christ sent you to preach nothing. Jesus didn't send you to preach no gospel. Read it, read it, Matthew. Jesus sent out and told them what to preach. You ain't preaching that. Jesus trained. Jesus schooled. Jesus tell us what to preach. You are not a preacher. Your bishop is not a preacher. Your ordination is a joke. It's a fraud. You're, <coughs> you're not ordained by God or Jesus. They didn't send you. This word came now unto me. God be my witness. I speak the truth and lie not. It's 1225, Saturday, October 31st, the year 2020. Early this morning while I was in the bed, the word of the Lord, this word of the Lord came now unto me. God is my God be witness against me. I speak the truth and lie not. And I'm going to give it to you. You boast about your elevation in your churches, your ordination in your churches, who ordained you, who laid hands on you. You a real bishop. You a real apostle. Everybody else is false because they weren't ordained by your nominated organization. Jesus did not ordain you or your bishop. You are not ordained. You are not a preacher. <clears throat> I want to hit the New Testament first, then I'm going to come back and hit the Old Testament. Same thing applies. I want, my God, I want that. Romans chapter 10. You know how to get the New Testament, you know, the hypocrites. Well, you know, Jeremy, because the Old Testament, you don't even know the Old Testament. Romans 10 and uh, 14, well, 13. Romans 10, 13. <clears throat> this message is pre-recorded, by the way, too. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? In order for you to believe, first you got to hear. Ah, in, order for you, in order for you to believe it, that Jesus requires you to repent of your sin. You got to hear that first. In order for you to believe that Jesus' blood cleanse, will cleanse you from all your sin. And not your tithes and offering. And, and all of you to believe that. <clears throat> we got to preach that first. In order for you to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, we got to preach that. You can't believe it till we preach it. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they... That's the, that's the problem now. Hallelujah. 
many in common to be saved and they don't even believe. They have no clue. Whew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Back up to 10. Robert 10 and what? Brethren, my heart desire and path to God for Israel is that they might be saved. You thinking you say you ain't saved. For I bet him reckon that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. You don't have knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. God righteousness. And going about this, stabbing their own righteousness. You got your own righteousness. Then come slip your hand the right way. Y'all bow your head, wave your hand, shift, cry your person to say, repeat, I meet you in the prayer. That your righteousness. Wait a minute. Bring all the time to the storehouse. You curse if you don't pay time. That your righteousness. Oh, we're going to show this right now. have not submitted themselves to the rightness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes it. You still saying we got to keep the law for right. Jesus didn't send you. He didn't send you. Now, if he sent you, after this message, you're going to repent and change your message. Christ is the law for righteousness. Law don't make you righteous. Watch it. For Moses describe it, righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. Do the deeds of the law. By your offering, your sacrifice, your uh, tithe, and you go to the tabernacle and the priest and all that thing. Read Hebrew chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 8, chapter 7, chapter 6, 5, 4. Get good understanding. But the right to which is of faith, speak on this why, say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into him dead to bring Christ down from above. How we believe Christ. Who gonna go up there and get it and bring it down? <sighs> or who shall say it to the deep that is to bring Christ again up from a dead? Wait a minute. Christ died. Who, who gonna go down and get him up? But what saying is, the word is not thee. Even in thy mouth and in thine heart, that is the word of faith that we preach. We preach it. Bring it up, Christ, from the dead. Come and bring him down from him. Now, if thou confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe God in thy heart that God raised from the dead, God already raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. Thou shalt be saved. He already raised him from a day. You got to believe that. And we got to preach that. Look at the record when he showed himself. My God, all day and night. In the book of Luke, in the book of John, after he rolled. Go to the book of Acts and look at how he showed himself to hundreds after he rolled. Go to the book of Luke 24, 47 and see where he said after he wrote that repentance. And remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Christ said that after, bye, bye, bye. He rose. He told us to preach that. That's through him. Hey, hey. 
Ha ha. Hey, and he's alive. And he will save you. His blood is for the remission of sin. Remission of sin. Uh, 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 Blue 24 voice said one more time. And that repentance. You got to repent. And remission of sin should be preached in his name. Matthew 26, 26. His blood is shed for the remit, the New Testament, for the remission of your sin. My God today. Hallelujah. You got to believe that. What the hard man believe on to write it, you got to believe he'll make you right. Uh, you, no, you, if you believe he'll make you right, you'll be walking around saying, well, ain't nobody without sin. Ain't nobody, uh, uh, ain't nobody puppy. Ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. You ain't going to say that no more. Because he make you righteous. And righteous folk do righteous. You, he that commits sin is of the devil. Now I go to First John chapter three, verse eight. Yay! My God, with the mouth confession made salvation. If you believe it, Christ is Lord, not Moses, not the law, not tithe, not offering. Christ say, not Moses, not the law, not tithe, not offering. But Christ, not the law, but Christ. Mm. Praise God all day. Down, drop down to 14. How shall they hear without a preacher? You ain't no preacher. You ain't no preacher. How shall they preach except they be sent? Christ did not send you to preach nothing. If he did, you wouldn't be preaching right? Bring all the time to the storehouse. Keep Sabbath day. Be free for long. You wouldn't preach that. He didn't send you to preach. Now, some of you in there and you didn't know. My God, but if your heart right after this message, you're going to repel your sin. Hallelujah. Praise him. 15, how shall they? 10, 15, Romans 10, 15. How shall they preach if they be sent? You weren't sent. You weren't sent, I said. No, Jesus said. Jesus said, go to all the way, preach the God, be able to preach the God, but not the law, but the gospel. He didn't believe he didn't baptize every day. He believed not every day. Now, go to Jeremiah. Same thing apply today. Jeremiah 23. At Jeremiah 23 at verse. Twenty-one. Jeremiah 23, 21. God said, I have not sinned. The, the prophet, he didn't send you. Let prove he didn't send you, nor your past. Yet they reign. I, I have not spoken unto them, yet they prophesy. Oh, we got that, God knows. Night at nine point nine 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 percent of folks that God told me that you're a liar. You are a liar. Read. But if they had stood in my counsel and had called my people to hear my words, no, it's not enough. I accept you Christ my personal Savior. That's not God's word. That's not even Jesus' word. Jesus said, repent. Jesus said, I can't not call right but sin to repent. But if they, Jeremiah 23, now we're at 22. But if they had stood in my counsel and had called my people to hear my words, 
then they should have turned from their evil way. You know, sin is evil. How many preachers tell you to turn from your evil way? They don't tell you that, do they? They tell you where ain't none of put. We see it every day. No good but the fall. None right and no not one. That's what they tell you. But if they had stood in my counsel and called my people to hear my word when you're standing in God's counsel and Jesus' counsel, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger, they will not follow. But if they had stood in my counsel and called my people to hear my word, then they should have turned from their evil way. That's the reason people didn't turn. Because they didn't stand in God's counsel, because they listened to the false prophet that God did not send. That's who they listened to. They listen to Jeremiah. They listen to Isaiah. They listen to Jesus. They listen to Peter James Hudson. They listen to Dunlap. But if they had stood in my counsel and had called my people to hear my word, we say what does say the Lord. The Lord never said, well, don't worry about wax. Jesus paid with past, present, and future sin. Jesus didn't say no mess like that. But if they had stood in my counsel and called my people to hear my word, they should have turned them from their evil way. The reason the people was evil because they did stand in God's counsel. They were listening to them false prophets that God didn't send. They should have turned it from their evil way. And the evil of their doing. But you say, well, we all got sin. Who raise your hand if you ain't sinned in the last three months? Well, let me put my hand down. God didn't send you. He did all that. Wait a minute. God said, bring tired and off. God didn't send you. He did ordain you. But Christ did all the law for right. Hebrews chapter 7. Some of you didn't know that. Now you know it. If your heart is right, you're going to change. You ain't going to tell that lie no more. So I see one of your miracles, you lying demon, you. Bring false prophets among the people. He didn't send you. That reason for they do it right because they listen to you and they listening to the true servant of Jesus Christ. They put a cap on it. Go to James chapter 5. Wait a minute. Jesus said, go and sin no more. What you said. Jesus said, be perfect. What you said. He didn't send you as you are saying. Exactly what Jesus said. Go to James chapter 5. Praise it. Praise it. Praise it. Glory. Glory. Praise God. James chapter 5 and verse 20. 19. Brethren, if any of you do well from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And shall hide a multitude of sin. Convert you from the error of your way. Ain't no hide no multitude of sin. You still walking in error. Your sin ain't hid. Cause you still sin. Ain't nobody got no hell hell to put you in. God did not send you. Pray God. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Galilee, well, let, let the Revelation 21 8. And we're going to mark off. Revelation 21 8. But the fever, and unbelieving, 
and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and built on the second death. We got to warn you. Galatians chapter 5. Well, Corinthians chapter 6. Hallelujah. Oh, it is God. The Lord brought this to me this morning. God knows. God is my witness. I speak true and lie not. Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Frank Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous, read with me, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You ain't going. You ain't going to him. Very, very, you must be born again of watch in spirit. That's John 3. Then you will run on down to John 3.20. Everyone do it, even hate the light, neither come into the light. It's not bad, Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You unrighteous, you are a sinner, you won't repent, you, 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 you got iniquity, you ain't going to inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus is going to say in that day, now you find that in Matthew 7, they'll pardon me, you that work iniquity. Know ye not, 6 and 9, Corinthians, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of him. Be not deceived. Don't let the preachers fool you what they, what them prophets did. Need up them prophets, my God, hallelujah. The, 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 the real prophets say, Return to God. Put away the evil you're doing. Put away your idol. The prophet told them to keep the idol. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicate. I doubt that the dirt, nor infirmity, abuse of yourself with mankind, nor thieves, nor, nor covetous, nor drunkard, reviler, extortioner, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such words, some of you, but now you are one. Jesus cleaned you from all sin. But I sanctified. Now you're sanctified. When you're saved, you saved. When Jesus saved you, he sanctified you. At the same time, it take away all your sin. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord, in the name of uh, the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Uh huh. Not Galatians five. Praise him. Jesus did. You ain't no preacher. Jesus did send you to preach. Your pastor ain't no preacher. Galatians five. Let's start with nineteen. Now the works of the place I manifest, which are these: a dirty, fornicate, unclean. Last year, I died witchcraft, hatred, very immolated, rap, strife, sedition, hearsay, envy, murder, drunken, reveling, and such like. Of which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, they would do such thing. They say, and such like. Anything that you doing that's wrong that would not name, and such like that gets you. Cigarette sucker. And such like. And I told you in time past, they would do something shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You ain't, ain't going to inherit the kingdom of God. You're going to hell. All right. Go back to, go back to, uh, uh, stay in chapter 5 of Galatians. Five and verse four. 
Christ has become a no effect. You who are whoever you are just by by the law, you fallen from grace. You tend for they gotta keep the law to be saved, tithe the law, first root law, and all that to be saved. And, and you fall from grace. Christ has become no no Christ become of no effect to you. You fall from grace. Christ didn't send you. Or else you will tell the people to turn from their sin. Bishop included, church of God and Christ, Baptist, Methodist, you will tell them to turn from their sin. All unrighteousness in every bit of it. That's enough of that. Christ didn't send you to preach nothing. All right. Repent before it ever lasts too late. You got time. You watching me not. Repent of your sin before it ever lasts too late. Preach the truth. Or in hell, you're going to lift up your eye. Christ didn't send you, yet you went. Thank you for being